check check Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday, everybody. My name is Ali with Bega Tricks Entertainment. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful evening. We're going to play some general knowledge trivia here in just a few minutes. Before we get into that, let me tell you to join the game uh, in order to actually participate. So here on YouTube, you're going to hear and see me ask the questions, but in order to actually answer uh, and have your answers collected and graded and have a chance at winning some taco bucks, you do need to join the online game. It's simple to do. Just go to online.begatrix.com and enter in the code TRICKS2. Online.begatrix.com. Enter in the code TRICKS2. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you for just a couple pieces of information, as you can see here on my screen. Uh, whatever name you want to go by during the game, that could be your name or team name, nickname, anything like that. Uh, the state that you're playing from, if you are here in the United States, and then your loyalty number, if you're part of the Begatrix loyalty program, which you do need to be if you want to win Taco Bucks. Uh, it's not required to play tonight. You can just hit go without putting anything in. But if you're part of the loyalty program and you place in first, second, or third, or you say something funny and I decide to give you some points, uh, those will go to your loyalty program uh, number. So that's why we ask for it. Once you see this screen, Begatrix General Knowledge Trivia, game will begin shortly. You're all set. There's nothing else you need to do. The game's going to begin in just a few minutes. Uh, so just hang tight. I'm going to let people join. I still see people joining uh, as we're doing this. So thank you all for being here. Uh, Taco is here looking guarded at the door because Gina just left for a second. But Gina's here as well. I'm here. My name is Ali with Begatrix Entertainment. Thank you for joining us. Um, it is Wednesday just after 9 o'clock. Many of you know it's my birthday, so thank you for joining me on my birthday. Uh, I, 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 I thought about taking the night off, but I decided I'd rather be here with you guys uh, hosting some trivia. Um, so thank you for allowing me to do this. Thank you for joining and being here tonight. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the love on the Bag of Tricks Facebook page. Gina did put a post out earlier. I didn't know. Uh, I can imagine me typing a post about myself, but I didn't this time. Uh, so thank you guys. We really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for playing trivia. Thank you to those of you that have been visiting our events in person. Uh, oh, 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 chill, bud. Hello. Oh, 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 okay, hello. So if you've ever wondered what Taco is like, Gina just got a birthday shot. And he's going nuts. So cheers, everybody. I think this is for me. Yes, yeah, sir. Cheers. Taco. Opa. Taco loves whiskey. He does, I think. Lay down. There's nothing for you, but I'm so sorry. Ah, thank you to those of you that have been joining us in person at events at Two Pints Lounge uh, in Bolingbrook, at Red Arrow in Elmhurst and Naperville, at all three Pollyanna Brewing locations, St. Charles, Roselle, and Lamont, at Elmhurst Brewing Company. Uh, everywhere that we're hosting, including tomorrow night, for the first time in a really long time, we're doing a special trivia night at Replay Lincoln Park. It's the arcade bar uh, in the Lincoln Park neighborhood of Chicago. Obviously, they're not open inside right now with restrictions, but like uh, just true campers, they have set up an incredible Bob's Burgers pop-up outside. So you can hang out in what looks like just like the outside scene of the cartoon Bob's Burgers. They have a food truck that serves burgers themed from the show. They have cocktails that they make that are themed cocktails. You can purchase tickets online. Um, it doesn't cost anything to play trivia, but you do have to have a table reservation, um, and they're selling tickets for that. It includes your burger and your drinks. You can have up to six people. So check that out. That's going to be a really fun one tomorrow night if you're comfortable going out. If not, we're here for you online as well. That's why we're doing this. 
I would prefer to stay home right now. Uh, so power to those of you going out, but power to those of you staying in. Uh, and for those people that are staying in, we'll be hosting trivia tomorrow night at 8 p.m. This is the special one. Uh, the schedule's a little different tomorrow. So we have an event tomorrow that is a fundraiser. Uh, I just wanna pull this up because I don't wanna say it incorrectly. Tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Uh, uh, sorry, 7.30, that's why I was double checking. 7.30 p.m. Central Time, we are raising money for My Joyful Heart. Uh, it's an incredible organization. That one is the only event this week you have to purchase tickets to to play online. All of the funds go directly to My Joyful Heart. I believe it's only $10 a ticket, and I also believe that first place wins $50 cash, plus some taco bucks. Um, so check that out. All of the links are on Facebook. And then on Friday, we have an event open to the public all about Star Wars. It is sponsored by a Star Wars fan club out of Chicago called Chicago Force. We're putting that on at 9 o'clock on Friday, and that will be hosted by the incredible Phoebe Svoboda. So don't miss that. That's going to be a lot of fun. That's 9 o'clock on Friday. All of the information for all those events is on our Facebook page. So check it out. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Uh, thank you for the support that you've shown, like I said, in person or online, uh, and especially financially, obviously. You can see these links down below. We really appreciate your donations. It goes a really long way towards uh, paying for the platforms that we use to host these online events. There's no cost to play tonight. This is completely free, but if you feel so inclined and you do want to send a donation, or tonight, I would call it a birthday donation because any donations that come in tonight, I'm probably going to buy some whiskey with. Mm -hmm. I get one day a year. I'm going to use it. Uh, yeah, so Oh, thank you. Uh, so yeah, any donations that come through tonight, special, special love directly from me. Uh, Jacqueline, thank you for the donation. Jeff, thank you for the donation. Allison, Misha, thank you so much for the donations. It means a lot to me tonight and to Begatrix as a whole. Um, you guys are the reason we're doing this and you're allowing us to keep doing this. So we love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. With all of that said, we'll have a whole full lineup of events again next week and I'll be posting that in the next day or two. And I do wanna announce this so everybody hears it. Uh, we don't have a general knowledge trivia night this week for the donation drawing winner, but I did draw that name uh, because tomorrow's the fundraiser night. Uh, we're not doing it, but next week we will do the donation drawing winner trivia on Thursday night. <laughs> and I can't believe it happened. Uh, so many people have been donating in this person's honor. Chris B finally won the donation drawing raffle. So Chris B, if you're out there, you've won. Start thinking of your categories, 1860s <laughs> literature be damned. Um, you get to choose the categories for next Thursday's event. Thank you to, I'm sure there are more of you, but I think Lindsay Davis donated, maybe Misha, uh, more than just Chris has donated <laughs> so that Chris could win. Um, so it finally happened and I'm really happy. So thank you all for the donations. Thank you all for being here. I'm gonna jump into this tiny screen here and I'm gonna tell you, one more time to join the online game online.begatrix.com enter in the code tricks two uh matt thank you so much for the donation thank you Wait, thank you thank you that that's going to be next thursday i believe okay yeah um it'll be thursday the third at nine o'clock thursday the third at nine o'clock yeah that sounds right all right so join that game online.begatrix.com tricks two is the code uh, if you haven't played trivia with us before, let me see how many people are here. Yeah, okay, there might be a few of you. If you haven't played trivia with us before, I'll give you a really quick rundown. Once we start this game, there uh, are going to be 30 questions in total. The first round of 10 questions will be multiple choice, and then it'll change to you having to actually type your answer in. The multiple choice overall is a little bit easier because even if you're not sure of the answer, you have a one in four shot because you'll have four options on your screen. You just have to click the one you think is correct. So once I read the question, I'll start the timer, which is 25 seconds. Every question, you have 25 seconds to answer. But I always read the question first. So you'll hear the question, and then the timer starts. Uh, not like that guy on HQ. Oh, those went so fast. <laughs> uh, what a fun game. Uh, so you have a 25 second timer that will start. Once it starts, you'll see four options appear on your screen. It's always A, B, C, or D. One of those answers is correct. All you have to do is click the correct answer and you earn up to 150 points if you're correct. If you are wrong, you earn zero points. Uh, however, you earn more points for getting your correct answer in quickly. So if you think you know the answer, 
Don't wait, don't dilly dally, click it as soon as you think you know, because if you're correct, you earn more points. The multiple choice questions are worth a maximum of 250 points, and that starts decreasing as soon as the timer starts. The one other thing you really need to be uh, careful of with the multiple choice questions is if you click an answer, you cannot change it. So once your answer is in, it's set. If you click A, that's going to be your answer for this question. If you click B, that's going to be your answer for that question, etc. cetera. Uh, so there's a little bit of strategy you wanna find uh, in between answering quickly, but not just clicking blindly. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. It's always gonna be one of four. The only other thing, I usually forget to say this, but I want you to know, you don't lose points if you're wrong. Um, so if you're not sure of an answer, you should always click something uh, because you may guess correctly. You have a one in four shot at just lucking into some points. Um, so how it works at the end of the game, the individuals with the most points will win. Uh, we'll give away prizes tonight for first, second and third place. Uh, we have taco bucks up for grabs. And then before we start, sorry, my intro is going a little bit longer, but um, I do want to give a, gi very dare a giant shout out to Dan's Pizza in Downers Grove. Um, so Gina can tell you all how you were here the last time I had Dan's Pizza. Um, I was eating it, I think online. Uh, I think we did it around the time of our Always Sunny in Philadelphia online trivia. Um, I love Dan's Pizza more than I could probably put into words. They're not paying us to sponsor this. They, they, they're, I'm, they're not sponsoring this tonight, so I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. I just love them. Uh, I've been waiting to eat Dan's Double Decker Pizza for my birthday. It's what I've been looking forward to and we went there today um, and I actually talked to Kevin at Dan's Pizza and he wants to sponsor some future trivia nights. So coming up over the next few weeks, I do have um, gift cards that you guys will be winning in addition to Taco Bucks uh, for free pizzas at Dan's Pizza in Downers Grove. So check it out, they're online, they're on Facebook. The pizza is incredible. I'll be posting a picture in a little bit on my personal Facebook. I'll put it in the online community as well. Um, so check that out and just a huge shout out, a thank you to Dan's Pizza for providing food on my birthday. I really, really appreciate it. Gina loved hers. I think it's pretty much gone. Uh, I ate half of it. No, you didn't eat the whole thing. I ate most of hers and most of mine. No, you didn't. I ate a lot. Yeah. It was just like so thin, but in the best way. Oh yeah, the crust is perfect. But anyway, uh, thank you so much to Dan's. Thank you guys all for being here. Um, tonight you will win Taco Bucks if you're in first, second, or third. Um, if you haven't been here for Taco Bucks previously, this is just a new prize that we're offering. It's a online fake currency only used here by Tricks Entertainment. Uh, so let me see if I can show you this really quick. You'll have the option to win some great things you can buy with your Taco Bucks online like Tricks ornaments, shirts, Tricks pint classes, or fun pop culture prizes of which we're always adding new stuff. We have 90 socks, a pizza sleeping mask, Alaskan brewing bottle openers, uh, a friend's stationery set, Lagunitas koozie, and of course the one and only framed and autographed photo of Taco. Uh, one person will win that eventually and I'm sure everybody will want it. So thank you all for being here once again. We're going to dive into this. Uh, thank you for your patience. Cheers, everybody. Here we go. Kevin's here. Kevin's here? What's up? Kevin, my man. Thank you so much for the pizza. I opened a Becky, but... All right, here we go. This first question, I didn't mention this, but this one's a practice question, which means it's not worth any points. It's just so you can learn the system in case you haven't played before. What is the name of your host today? Just answer to what you think is correct. Uh, what is my name? Is it Mo, Larry, Curly, or Ali? Mo, Larry, Curly, or Ali? Uh, oh, let me see who's out there. John Jay, what's up? Hey, Chris, Steph Curtis, John H, what's up? Uh, Emily Riley, welcome, you made it. Happy birthday, thank you, Bobby. Uh, Bobby Kate, not Bobby K. Uh, Misha, hello, thank you for the donation. Birthday social, yes. Allison, what's up? Hey, Amanda and Marcos, I presume. Uh, I saw you guys at Freedom Brothers yesterday. Thank you for being there. Hey, Sarah from the East Coast. Kelsey Davis, what's up? Uh, Taco does enjoy booze, but usually he just sneaks it when we're not watching. So thankfully we've been better about that. Uh, Jennifer Sterna, you did not miss the candles and the cake. We don't do that anymore. Uh, well, I guess Sorry, we could I didn't do... think you were dessert. No, you, there's a whole carrot cake in the fridge that I've been eating for the last oh. week. <laughs> Cracking open a unicorn fart, yes. Hey, Kim Wheatley, what's up? Maggie Wimp, what's up? Thank you. Becky, welcome, welcome. Hey, Jen Widener. Uh, the three of us, thank you. Jen, Tommy, Jeff, I'm so glad you guys are here. Amy, thank you. Hello, hello. 
Lindsay Davis here too. What's up, Lindsay? Middleton Lens, thank you for the donation earlier. I saw that. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody, there's so many people here. Thank you all for being here and talking. I can't even keep up. I don't want to make this go any slower. Uh, the correct answer, if this was worth points, 33 of you would have earned them because my name is Ollie with Megatrix Entertainment. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we're going to go on. Now these start counting for points. Um, I do want to just give you one quick for warning. This is still a general knowledge trivia night, but I gave it uh, the Ollie twist, which is I treated this sort of like I would a donation drawing winner, and I chose questions from categories that I really enjoy. Um, I like all sorts of trivia, but tonight there might be some questions that seem a little tough. Um, there are, John and Jess try not to applaud too loud, but not many sports questions. Uh, that's not really my forte. So we're gonna have a lot of questions um, that I would enjoy playing if I was on your end of the computer. Here we go. Question two, what color are the $5 bills in a standard game of Monopoly? What color are the $5 bills in a standard game, the traditional game of Monopoly? You have four options and go. Green, yellow, white, or pink? Uh, Addison says hi and happy birthday, but she's in bed. Silly real school. Oh, thank you, Addison. Yeah, I saw that. Real school. Thank you for color court. Yeah, Lindsay, that's why I read all the, the answer a couple times because I was changing the colors for y'all. Uh, everybody got this. Not everybody. Sorry, I misled you. Most people got this. Um, they're not yellow. I believe yellow are the $10 bills. Uh, the $100 bills are yellow. Um, the correct answer here is pink. Uh, the five dollar bills are pink the one dollar bills are white uh, purple is 50 green is 20 10 is blue uh, and then the 500 is at orange um, so good job most of you got this moving on question number three the film jurassic park is based on a 1990 novel of the same name written by what author look at this gif the film jurassic park is written uh, was a novel written by what author was it tom wolf dan brown michael Crichton, or stephen king Yeah, maybe it's just because we're using all the bandwidth. That's the way to look at it, Lindsay. This might be one of my favorite gifts of all time. Having read none of his books. Lindsay, you should really read some of his books. Um, and I'd give it a shot. If you don't like him, you don't like him. But if you've never read any, um, the guy was just a genius. Uh, and the correct answer is Michael Crichton. Michael Crichton unfortunately passed away um, pretty young quite a few years ago early mid 2000s uh, the correct answer is Michael Crichton most of you got that enough for a social so cheers everybody 93% of you I'm sure you do. I am drinking a what's it called liquid love sad thug sad thug, sad thug by liquid love um, a new brewery um, individual that used to work for whiskey hill brewing um, left and opened it up and it's delicious it gets rave reviews and we were at Joe's beverage warehouse in Romeoville and found it and it's sour with granola blueberries milk sugar yeah and lac what else? Lac uh, milk sugar yeah it's milk delicious. sugar granola blueberries it's I said it tastes in the best possible way like um, the leftover milk if you ate a bowl of oops all berries um, it's delicious yeah. uh, I don't even like sour yeah, and she doesn't even like sours. All right, question four. Uh, this one a little bit tougher. Uh, which of the following individuals or pairs of individuals created the nin Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? So originally a comic book, uh, a cartoon, a live action movie, a computer movie, but who originally created the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Was it Forrest J. Ackerman, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, Frank Miller and Robert Rodriguez, or Kevin Smith? Amanda Glover's drinking the same thing right now. So weird. That's incredible. It's a pretty beer, too. It is. It's beautiful. And then we have a unicorn fart coming up, right? Yeah. Everybody's in, and you guys did really well on this. 
Um, this is, if you haven't, we talk about this often, but there is an episode of The Toys That Made Us on Netflix, um, all about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and how it blew up uh, in the early 90s. And that was thanks to these two individuals. 68% of you got it right. It is Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. They actually had a falling out for a long time. If you watch the, the show, they do come back together. It's really sweet. Uh, but uh, yeah, Frank Miller, Robert Rodriguez, also a uh, great comic book people. I remember that. I watched that with you. The Toys You Made Us? Yeah. All right, let's do question five. Bad Bad Leroy Brown and Time in a Bottle were both hits in the late 1960s for what singer-songwriter? Was it Cat Stevens, James Taylor, Jim Croce, or John Denver? Ooh, Amanda, it tastes like the marshmallows and Lucky Charms. Now that you've said it, I taste that. I'm with you. It smells like it too. Jess, I'm sorry that you want pizza now because of that Ninja Turtles gift. I have had pizza three times in the past week. Sounds which like a is blessing. More than like the past month. That's true. And I am such a lucky person. <laughs> uh, you guys did well here. Cat uh, Stevens got four guesses. James Taylor five. One person said John Denver, but 35 people correctly said Jim Croce. Jim Croce. Uh, Jim and Ingrid Croce did some great songs together. Uh, but this was Jim Croce. This is a g just great guy. Uh, another one gone way too soon. Um, so let's take a look for the first time at the standings now that we are five questions in. In first place, shit, is everybody tied because I forgot to click on the decreasing timer. Lindsay Davis, where are you at? <laughs> Uh, it's not on you. That's on me. Uh, so if you answered everything right, you are all tied for first place right now. If you answered <laughs> three of four right, you're tied for second. If you answered two of three right, you're tied for third. And if you answered only one of them right, you are tied for fourth. If you answered none of them right, you're currently in last. Uh, so great job, everybody. You're doing super well. Things will change soon. Things will change. Uh, so I have now confirmed that I turned that on. So from this point forward, for the next six questions, you'll start losing points the longer it takes you to answer. So you do want to answer as quickly as you can. Um, okay. So I'm happy glad that you... Happy birthday to everyone. Yeah, happy birthday to everybody. Who is Gabby? Chatty Angelica Bitches. I'm glad to see that team name back. Where's your birthday suit? <laughs> Tacos wearing the birthday suit. The Glovers, what's up? Just here for the comments. Yes, yes, yes. Julius Pepperwood. Hey, Miss Laraca. See you out there. General specific store. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. All right, here we go. Question number six. Which of the following characters was not a wrestler or a character that was portrayed by Mick Foley in the WWF, now the WWE. Which of the following characters was not a wrestler, um, a persona portrayed by Mick Foley in the WWF? Was it Vader, Mankind, Cactus Jack, or Dude Love? Mick Foley was was it for his daughter Maggie on say yes to the dress shirtless Dave already went to bed yeah he would have known this all right everybody's in you guys did well um, five people said mankind eight people said cactus Jack seven people said dude love the correct answer here is the one that 27 of you guessed, it is Vader. Vader, a completely different uh, wrestler. Mankind, Cactus Jack, and Dude Love, I believe, all competed in one Royal Rumble coming out at e as, e as each of his personas. Um, Vader, the individual who was Vader in the WWF, I believe, here's a fun fact, played um, Sean's dad on Boy Meets World, Ryder Strong's dad, I believe was Vader, and then I think he ended up dying as so many wrestlers do uh, heart failure at some point. But anyway, Vader, the correct answer here. Question number seven. You knew this was going to come up, at least something about the Beatles. Which of the following Beatles songs is not sung by Ringo Starr? 
Um, so he got about one song per album that he sang. Um, only one of these was not sung by Ringo Starr. Three of these were sung by Ringo Starr. Which one was not? Was it Nowhere Man, Octopus's Garden, What Goes On, or Honey Don't? Ooh. Kelsey Davis, yes. I believe Sean's dad did die on the show. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. Shirtless Dave has to wear shirts while the kids are doing virtual school. <laughs> That's probably safe. That's probably good. He was the officiant for a friend, so he was with her picking out her. Oh, nice, Maggie. I would love if Mick Foley. Well, we have a great officiant for our wedding, but Mick Foley is a close second pick. All right, everybody's in, and you guys did really well. Uh, I tried to make this not too tough. I think if you've heard this song, you would know it's not Ringo's voice. Uh, the correct answer is Nowhere Man. Nowhere Man. Great harmonies, as many Beatles songs have. But Octopus Garden, What Goes On, Honey Don't. Um, all great Ringo songs. What Goes On was the first one he got writing credit on, even though he, he didn't really write it. Um, but he was involved. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Rubber Soul one. All right, question number eight. Starring Kenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell, what 1997 film was based on a comedy sketch of the same name that was on Nickelodeon on the Nickelodeon series All That? What 1997 film starred Kenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell? Was it Halloween Town, Good Burger, Johnny Tsunami, or Smart House? Oh, I have top chat on fixed Noob. I know I mean, Ringo was so cute in that ch that gift Becky where's your Zach Hansen question he brought Mr. Sacco to the wedding yes uh, Maggie Lindsay don't worry it's coming I promise you uh, orange VHS yeah the orange VHS is the Rugrats movie mm -hmm. yeah uh, this is a social absolutely good burger I'm a dude, you're a dude, he's a dude, she's a dude. We're all dudes. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Listen, I know that Mondo Burger was like beefing them up with steroids and stuff, but those burgers look great. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. America. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for the unicorn parts when you are. All right, I'll get to the Or part. before. All right, question number nine. This is a throwback. It's a video game question. This is one of my favorite arcade games, so we'll see who can come up with this. What is the name of the main character in the arcade game Burger Time? You're seeing it here in the GIF. Uh, it's an old arcade game. It's fun as heck. Uh, what is the name of the main character in the arcade game Burger Time? Is it Keith Ketchup, Oliver Onion, Mark Mayo, or Peter Pepper? Uh, Good Burger, last I checked, was on Netflix still. If you want to watch it. All right, everybody's in. Great game. Lots of fun. Uh, the correct answer, nine people said Keith, five people said Oliver, six people said Mark. 26 people either knew this or guessed well. Uh, all these alliterative names could have been correct, but Peter Pepper was correct, so good job, everybody that put Peter Pepper. All right, we have two more multiple choice questions, and the points are decreasing now. Yes, I've confirmed. All right, question number 10. Which of the following products was never endorsed by Shaquille O'Neal? Uh, so just a brilliant businessman, great basketball player, uh, one of the following four products was never endorsed by Shaquille O'Neal. If you're wondering uh, why I have a Shaquille O'Neal question, I'm not a big basketball fan, but I am a giant fucking fan of this GIF. It's one of my favorite that's ever been created. Uh, and I wrote this question just so I could put that GIF in. Uh, so which of these was not endorsed by Shaquille O'Neal? Was it Icy Hot, Coca-Cola, Papa John's, or Vitamin Water? Or Vitamin Water if you're you know, in the UK.
Sarah, you've never seen this GIF. I'm so glad that I could introduce you to it. All right, everybody's in. Um, Shaquille O'Neal, just a brilliant businessman. Um, obviously, like I said, a fantastic basketball player. Took the money that he made playing basketball and being sponsored and then invested into some brilliant businesses um, and has made a lot of money. Also does the general, uh, the car insurance. Oh, that's right. The general. Um, but the correct answer here, most of you knew this, Coca-Cola. He's never been a sponsor for Coca-Cola. Um, Icy Hot, that was really big for a while, his endorsement there. Papa John's um, is more recent. Vitamin Water, uh, a while ago, obviously. Not so much around anymore. All right, one more multiple choice question. Here we go. Number 11. Uh, which of the following films is not a Sylvester Stallone film? So there are four films listed. Which of them is not a film starring Sylvester Stallone? Is it Cobra, Rambo, Commando, or Cliffhanger? <laughs> yeah, if the game froze, as long as it froze on the Shaq gif with the cat. <laughs> yeah. Not on the Sylvester Stallone just being upset gif. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody's in. You guys did well. This is one of those questions, if you had a minute, um, probably nobody would miss it. I think you'd think about it. But uh, under the gun, this one's a little tough. But the correct answer, 11 people said Cobra, 7 people said Cliffhanger, 28 people said Commando, 28 people were correct. I love that you did this question. Good job. Thank you. I was wondering when it was all things that you like. It's all things that I, I love Sylvester Stallone. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm a big fan of the 80s action heroes, early 90s action heroes. I loved that whole thing. Sylvester Stallone, Bruce Willis, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, who am I missing? There's so many more. <laughs> That's my stuff. Uh, I really enjoy the, uh, Jean Claude Van Damme. We're going to watch. I'm trying to. I don't have to talk you into it, but I'm trying to decide. We might watch Bloodsport after we finish yeah. trivia tonight. Yeah, it's my birthday, so I can choose, but I don't know if I want that to go down as choosing Bloodsport. That's a violent one. But anyway, that's the end of multiple choice I questions. Uh, here we go. Let's take a look at the standings. Now that points have been decreasing, we should be a little more varied. Uh, in first, Chief or Commander. In second, Team Team Name. In third, Jen Widener. Fourth, Emily. Fifth, Let's Get Quizzical. Everybody else rotating through. Do you want me to grab that beer? Oh, I can't. I was going to grab it as soon as I'm done. Okay, I'll finish real quick. No, you don't have to. Okay. See Bobby Kate out there drinking brewskis, brewskis in Denver. What's up? A poo poo and a pee pee. I see you out there. Hey, thank you, Linda. Thank you so much for the donation. I'm glad you're here. All right, everybody. Things are going to change here in just a second. So if you're just now getting used to the multiple choice questions, too bad because they're gone. From this point on, when I ask you a question, you'll still have a 25 second timer, but you'll have to type your answer in. There will not be four options that pop up on the screen, A, B, C, D, that's out the window. Now I'm gonna ask you the question, you have to type the answer in and hit submit before the time runs out. A couple other things changed though as well. First and foremost, the point values are increasing. They were 150 points max before and now they are 250 points. Plus, if you're correct, you're gonna earn all of the points. If you're correct, you earn all the points. If you're incorrect, you earn none of the points. There's no in between anymore. So take your time. Try to spell your answers right because the points are not decreasing, so you don't have to rush. But don't cheat. No Googling, no searching, no looking for answers. Whatever you type has to come out of your brain or somebody's brain that is playing with you, a human, not a computer. Um, that's it. That's the only real rule. Uh, with that said, the next five questions are also a mini bonus round, which means they are all connected. They're all from the same category. We're gonna do one at a time. We're not gonna do all five at the same time, but they are all from the same category. And tonight, the next five questions are all 
about the NATO phonetic alphabet, the NATO phonetic alphabet. So we're going to dive into this. Once again, keep it fair, keep it honest, don't cheat. I'm going to give you a letter and you have to tell me the call sign used in the NATO phonetic alphabet. For example, if I said name the call sign for the letter A in the NATO phonetic alphabet, your answer would be alpha. All right, it's that simple. We'll do one at a time, but they're worth 300 points apiece. Here we go. Number 12, you have to type it in, don't forget. What is the NATO phonetic code word for the letter C? You have 25 seconds. What is the NATO phonetic code word for the letter C? Well, does Amy like the, the sound tube? She most likes the NATO phonetic. Lindsay, I think, has talked about it. Maybe she doesn't like it. Uh, thank you, Amanda, for the donation. Thank you so much. And Lindsay and Jennifer and Sarah. Sorry, I haven't looked at my phone in a minute. And Jess, you guys are the best. John, Jacqueline, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Brian is so pumped, yes. All right, everybody's in. If you're just slightly off, you're still going to get points. 95% of you got this right. Uh, in the NATO phonetic alphabet C, the code word is Charlie. Charlie. All right, number 13, in the NATO phonetic alphabet, what is the code word for the letter S? S. Uh, that last one was a social, guys. Cheers. Sorry about that. All right, everybody's in. Let's see what you th <laughs> Good guesses here. Uh, somebody said, salute your shorts. Sauerkraut, silver, superstar, Steven, super, stat, shit. Uh, the correct answer is Sierra. Sierra. Interestingly enough, could also be spelled with a C. So weird choice, but you know, here it is, Sierra. Uh, number 14, name the... The NATO phonetic code word for the letter E. What is the code word for the letter E? Alright, everybody's in. It's not Eagle, Elephant, Epsilon, Early. I feel like this one, you were going for a Scrubs reference. Uh, so I like it. Uh, the correct answer here is Echo. E is Echo. Great job, those of you that got that. Uh, we have two more of these. Number 15. What is the NATO phonetic code word for the letter J. What is the code word for the letter J? All right, everybody's in. I've done this round in the past with different letters, but I always like to give you guys a reminder on how to remember this. Uh, let's see, it's not John, July, Juno. It's not Joseph, Django, Jericho, Jam, Jamestown, Jug, Jalapeno, that'd be a fun one, or Jack. The correct answer here, J is Juliet. J is Juliet, and the way you can remember is because in the NATO phonetic alphabet, J is Juliet and R is Romeo. So you have Romeo and Juliet. Uh, I hope that the next one's not R. I don't think so. Uh, here we go. Final NATO phonetic code word. What is the code word for the letter G? What is the code word for the letter G? Taco is up and atom.
yeah, she's back. Lay down. Nope, nope, nope. You're still not getting any beer. Whoa, Stephanie Curtis flew with Patrick Swayze. Did you swirl it? Am I supposed to swirl it? I don't know. Probably. Try yours. Shoot. It's okay. It's going to come out. Just try it in yours. I imagine it looks better. You got to stay, bud. Thank you, buddy. All right, this one is the only sport listed in the NATO phonetic alphabet. Uh, this could be a misspelling, so we're going to take it. Uh, the correct answer is golf. Golf. Good job, those of you that put golf. That's it for the NATO phonetic alphabet round. Let's look at the standings. In first now, Jen Widener by just about 50, oh, 45, 55 points over Where's Your Birthday Suit, Chatty Angelica Bitches in third. Everybody else, take a look, see where you're at. It's on your screens as well. Two cereal beers. Yeah. You can see a little bit. So we're drinking. Can I have that can really quick? Ooh, that's more soury. Very sour. We're drinking Sour Me Unicorn Farts Glittered Sour Ale. Um, it's supposed to have ale brewed with edible glitter. I don't think our edible glitter showed up, but. If you like sours, it's delicious. Uh, oh, there, it's at the top. I see it. It's towards the top. You know, it's there. <laughs> it is there, for <laughs> sure. Oh, guys, happy Wednesday. Thanks for being here. All right. The next round is the picture round. If you've played before, you know what's coming. These questions will be pictures. I'm going to ask you to identify something. All five are from the same category, but each one is unique. They're each worth 250 points. If you answer correctly, you get all the points. If you're wrong, you get none of them. I will say this round will have some of the easiest and some of the toughest questions of the night. Um, and this is where it will shine that this night is about things that I like because these are not just top 40 bands uh, for the most part. Some of them are extremely popular and extremely successful, uh, but some of these are just bands that if you know me, you know. Uh, and I've given away the category. These are music uh, this category is music. I'm going to show you a picture of a famous musical act. You just have to name it. Um, so I'm going to show you a picture of a band or a musician. It could be a, a solo musician or band. You just have to type who you're looking at. 250 points if you're correct. And again, some of these are easy. Some of these are tough. Uh, and that's about it. Here we go. Uh, question 17. I think some of you were already asking about this, and I said it would come up. So here we go. Number 17, name this famous musician or band. Who are we looking at? Who is this? Who this? Okay, Middleton Lens had a little bit of glitter. Okay, so it's the same. So. And that's why we got it. Uh, when we were at the, the, the liquor store there, we walked past it and Gina said, oh, I think Crystal and Stephanie had this beer. And obviously, it's called Unicorn Farts, so it's stuck out. And I was like, Unicorn Glitter? Unicorn Glitter Cereal. You know had it? I'm in. Let's buy it. All right, this question, pretty tough, but uh, if you know me at all, you probably have a good guess. And many of you knew this. Zach is the best, yes. Ooh, Zach Brown Band. I can see where you were going there. Uh, okay, Taco. Uh, Grown Up Hanson, yeah, that's still correct. Not Three Doors Down, although I did have their debut album. That was great. Uh, not the Avett Brothers. Do love them. Listen to them today. The correct answer is Hanson. Hanson with the best Hanson brother right there on the left. Question number 18. What is the name of this band? What is the name of this band? I can't tell who it is. Oh, it's that grainy for you? Every time I refresh, it clears up, but then it instantly goes green. Rude. I 
just the tip. This chat is getting interesting and dirty, and I'm here for it. I love it. Happy this is what I live for, my friends. Thanks Isn't for being, being here and, and enjoying them. We can finish off with one of the cubbies or the loggers. Gotta be cubbies. All right. All right, here we go. Can't go back, though. Everybody's in. Oops. What happened here? Uh, there we go. Sorry, everybody. Uh, let's see how you answered. Tell it to What? <laughs> What I love about this round so far is that some of these answers are in no way right, but I love them because you guys are guessing based off of the bands that I like. And the fact that you know that just makes me love you all so much more. Uh, I appreciate this community that we have here online. Uh, the correct answer, most of you got right. 50% about, uh, just about 50% of you got Pearl Jam. Uh, the guy all the way on the right there is named Boom. Uh, he's been touring with the band for quite a while. I don't know that they call him an official member, but uh, he, he, he plays in every show. He's a keyboardist. He does a couple things. Uh, but everybody else, Stone. Um, you have Matt Cameron, who's been in the band for almost 20 years now, but I think he's the fourth drummer. Uh, obviously, Eddie, Jeff, Mike McCready just shredding, and then boom, my man. All right, here we go. Number 19. Name this famous musician or band. one a little bit tougher uh, but this guy was in the news uh, towards the beginning of the shutdown when we when we first started doing these online trivias and a couple of you messaged me about him here. yeah yeah he he famously Jay's here hey Jay what's up man love you uh, a couple people messaged me about him he had COVID-19 one of the first big celebrities after Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson um, the correct answer is Jackson Brown, running on empty. Somebody's baby. Jackson Brown, the correct answer. Only six of you got that right. And I will tell you, I'll just let you know right now, the next picture is the hardest, but it's probably um, tied with Pearl Jam from my favorite band of all time. Uh, so if you get the next one, be proud of yourself. If you don't, just take a drink. Don't feel bad. Here we go. Number 20, name this famous musician or band? What is the name of this band? This is the toughest question of the night. This is probably the toughest question we've had in a while. Not super commercially successful, but one of my favorite bands of all time. <laughs> Kelsey says her best friend was a waitress for Eddie Vedder. Have I beat it? Ooh. Hey, yeah. somebody got it. One person got it, and that's all that matters to I me. Know who. We have a cute photo with this band. We, yeah, we do. Yeah, Jess, uh, I apologize. It coming, you know, pairing alongside with the fact that they are not the, the biggest band. They don't have a lot of great promotional photos from the last couple of years. Uh, all right. I love a couple of these answers. Somebody said, I'm just taking a drink. Um, that's a good guess. Uh, the Gin Blossoms is a good guess. My Chemical Romance, Avid Brothers again. Wild Stallions, I love it. Alt J, a great. <laughs> Somebody wrote the groin protectors. Yeah, that's a good guess but based on the picture. Uh, except for Landon. He's like, come at it. Jimmy Eat World, that's a good guess. The Get Up Kids, a great guess. Jack's Mannequin, another good guess. Hot Sunday. Um, some more Saved by the Bell throwback. Yeah, this this individual, you can see the, the, the symbol and the drum head up there are signed by an individual in this photo. That's a touring poster and a touring poster, both signed by this band. Chris just noticed that. Yeah, yeah. So excuse me for doing something that was just for me, but one person got it right. This is the Spill Canvas. Uh, they've been around in, in terms of Nick Thomas since the early 2000s, uh, probably 16, 17 years now, 18 years. Um, so longevity for, for a smaller band. I love them. Uh, if you've never listened, give it a shot, especially if you're an emo kid, you'll love it. All right, one more. Number 21, a little bit easier. What is the name of this famous musician or band. What is the name of this musician or band? 
Lindsay Davis, you were the one person who I thought would get that. I'll be honest. So I wonder who would get it. Chris saw them in concert with Janessa. I was probably there, Chris. <laughs> Depending on when you went, we were probably at the same concert. Forever an emo kid. Yes, Sarah. All right, everybody's in. This one, um, tough, only because I chose a picture from the 70s. I think if I had done a more recent picture, it would have been a little bit easier. Um, this is not Three Dog Night. Somebody said Rapunzel. Somebody said Buzz, your girlfriend. Whoa. <laughs> Old Hanson? Yeah, maybe in like 30 more years. Um, Old Hanson. Yeah, still not the Avett Brothers. Three Dog Night is a good guess. Um, same time period as when Three Dog Night was coming up. Motorhead, Bee Gees, hair commercial. No, this is Rush. This is Rush, Alex Lifeson, Neil Peart, and Getty Lee. Um, straight out of the 70s there. And, you know, um, still rocking and rolling until the late 2010s. Neil Peart unfortunately passed away. Uh, but if you've never listened and you're a, you're a music person, give them a, give them a listen. All right, that's it for this round. This was the toughest round of the night. Uh, so thank you guys for being here with me and, and putting up with that. Uh, letting me do that on my birthday. Let's take a look at the standings. Chatty Angelica bitches up into first. Memphis reigns in second. Chief or commander in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. I'm going to take a look at this chat because you guys are just lapping me. I can't even look. Give us picks in their prime. Yeah, John, I thought about that. I thought about that, but that was too easy for Pearl Jam. Too easy for Hanson. And most would argue that this is a picture of Rush in their prime. Uh, this is probably when most people, commercially, they probably saw their biggest success around this picture. Uh, they've been going forever, but 80s was interesting. 90s, yeah. Becky, don't think I've ever seen the Rush guys before. Now you have. Getty Lee, Neil Peart, Alex Lifeson for one point each. <laughs> I wish, John. If I could do that in here, I would for you. Maggie Wimp, uh, Tacos Party people doing well tonight. Awesome. 2008 at Carthage College. All right, I wasn't there, Chris. You're wrong. I was wrong. I wasn't there. All right, so the next 10 questions, my friends, are just random ass questions. You still have to type your answer in, but there's no longer a category. They're just random general knowledge questions. They are worth 300 points apiece. If you're correct, you earn all 300 points. If you're wrong, you earn no points. But you don't lose points if you're wrong. So take a guess even if you're not sure. Um, if you know that you don't know the answer, give us a funny guess. So um, with Taco Bucks, as I showed you earlier right here, with these online prizes, Taco Bucks, I can dish out as I see fit. Um, it doesn't cost me anything to give you some Taco Bucks. So if you guys you know, submit an answer, I'm not saying that your answers aren't funny um, often, but if you, if you submit an answer that's over the top, and really just, you know, gives me a good chuckle. I might throw some Taco Bucks your way, especially mm -hmm. if you're already a part of the loyalty program. So uh, always submit an answer, even if you're not sure. Here we go. Question number 22. According to Box Office Mojo, as of 2020, what is the highest grossing basketball film of all time? So as of this year, what is the highest grossing film, which its main subject is basketball? According to Box Office Mojo, as of this year, what film is the highest grossing basketball film of all time? Also, if you ever had older brother or younger brother, this gif is just pure older brother, younger brother. I have both. <laughs> I'm oh. going to dunk over your head. Just stand there. I got this. <laughs> like, it's going to be That's so like cool. Animals being jerked by the kids. Yeah. Jess, this doesn't count as sports. This counts as movies. Um, if I signed up for rewards during the stream, didn't know it before. Uh, Sarah, if you don't have a loyalty number yet and you win tonight, I'll, I'll coordinate with you. Um, so just, just shoot me a message if you end up in first, second, or third. Otherwise, you'll have a number before the next game. Old Hanson should get a Taco Bucks. Jen Cerna, you sponsored that. Who put Old Hanson? Somebody said Old Hanson. Kelsey Davis. I can give you ta some Taco Bucks, Kelsey Davis, especially with a sponsor. 
Uh, the correct answer here, once you hear it, you might just say, oh, duh, uh, is Space Jam. Space Jam, 78% of you got that right. I'm calling it social. That's a lot of people for that. Cheers, Space Jam, the highest grossing basketball film of all time. Uh, number 23. Which rock group provided the soundtrack for the 1980s film Flash Gordon? Whoa. Which rock group provided the soundtrack for the 1980s film Flash Gordon? <laughs> yeah, Kelsey, you can earn taco bucks for being funny like old Hampton. So you got to sign up. Put them in Lindsay Davis's account. She doesn't have a number. All right, Lindsay. You guys can argue that out. I'll give it to Lindsay. <laughs> I'm writing it in my notebook right now. Older sister stealing your stuff. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, I like the queen. Whoa. Uh, the correct answer here, it's not Rush. It's not Rush. It is Queen. Rush is a great guess. I could see Rush doing um, a soundtrack for Flash Gordon, but it was Queen. So good job, everybody. 63% of you got that right. Number 24. Oh, one of my favorite guys. Sharing its title with one of his most popular films. What is the name of Arnold Schwarzenegger's 2012 autobiography. 25 seconds. What is the name of Arnold Schwarzenegger's 2012 autobiography detailing his life? Shares its name with one of the most popular films. I should have played 30 minutes and you're playing Will you grab a cubby gummy when you're up? Or are you just moving that box? I'll grab it in one minute once you're done. Okay, it's up to you. Hmm. All right, everybody is in. Uh, this is another one I don't expect a lot of you to know, but once you hear it, it makes perfect sense. Why would you not, if you start in this movie, why would you not name your autobiography Total Recall? Total oh, Recall, yeah. the correct answer here. Uh, and eight of you got that right. If you're, <laughs> it's not a tumor. Um, if you're an, an, <laughs> an autobiography person, this is a great autobiography, um, an immigrant story telling how he came here. He became seven time Mr. Olympia, eventually, you know, movie star, the governor of California, uh, and just still rocking and rolling with donkeys and llamas on his estate. Uh, just to, you know, he's had some shit and he owns up to it in the book. Uh, but all around, cool read. If you like autobiographies, um, give it a shot. Total Recall, Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, number 25. Uh, what former competitive swimmer and 1992 Olympic champion was the host of the Nickelodeon game show Figure It Out? This oh is a question gosh. only because I fucking love this show. Uh, what is the name of the host of the Nickelodeon game show Figure It Out? She was a former competitive swimmer and 1992 Olympic champion. Did you have a crush on this person? I Honestly, not really. Really? I mean, I'm shocked. probably, but not really. No. Because I remember, remember she was ripped. I, she was pretty ripped. She was a swimmer, yeah. But I just loved this show. The, <coughs> I loved everything about this show, but mostly the ridiculous fucking reasons that people could get on the show. Um, like the one kid who got on because his talent was could eat an entire watermelon in 13 seconds or something. And there was another kid whose talent was... Uh, won a pig calling competition. So then after they finish it, they put him at the microphone. And they're like, all right, let's see it. And I don't think there was even a pig. They just had a little like 11 year old kid on a microphone going, Sui, Sui, over and over. Like, I don't know, the shit Nickelodeon could entertain us with in the 90s was just. And then Ali went into seventh grade. Oh, incredible. Uh, the correct answer, a lot of you got this. It's not Mark Summer. He did a lot of these shows. It's tricky because they have Oh, I didn't even think name. about that. Yeah, his last name is her first name, pretty yeah. much. Summer's a cute name. I love the answer. Summer is Sanders, in here? why is this information still in my head? Um, the correct answer is Summer Sanders. Summer Sanders. I do not know how she became the host of this show. Um, 
I don't think that she had a large acting career before this. Uh, Summer Sanders, but it was great. You got slimed if you were too wrong in guessing. Uh, Memphis Reigns up into first. Taco's got nothing on Ollie's something. In second, Chatty Angelica Bitch is in third. Everybody, keep looking. See where you're at. Let me catch up on this and grab another drink. Should have been Jingle All the Way. Yeah, I, I would read his autobiography. It was called Jingle All the Way. And then he's going to write, to your point, um, a weight loss book. And it'll just be called Put That Cookie Down. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's Lose Weight Quickly. Put oh, That Cookie Down. my God. All right, let me get your beer. Thank you. Uh, Sarah, I'm pretty sure he had a co-writer for the book, uh, but it was great. It was great. You learn a lot. It was great. Love him in Kindergarten Cop, yes. You know there was a Kindergarten Cop 2, or at least planned? I think it was a Dolph Lundgren thing. I feel like everything that uh, people want a sequel to that Arnold doesn't want to do, they're just like, call Dolph. Will Dolph Lundgren do it? Like, Arnold doesn't want to do it. Will Dolph do it? And Dolph's like, yeah, shit, I'll do it. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Sarah, I, 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 even if it was sarcasm, I'm pretty sure he did have a co-writer. <laughs> I think. I think you need to turn that switch down. No, Too cold. Good. No, not that cold. Oh, got it. All right, here we go. Six questions left, uh, my friends. We have six questions left. It's a close game right now. Um, I just want to update. Ileana, thank you so much for the donation. Uh, we really appreciate you guys being here. Oh, yeah, the Brewski's in, in Colorado. Thank you for being here. Uh, Brian, Taco's party people. Taco's birthday party people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you. All right, here we go. Six questions left. Number 26. What is the name of the film star? Where did my screen go? Uh, here we go. Uh, what is the name of the film star who played Rhett Butler in Gone with the Wind and starred in more than 90 films over 30 years? Looking for first and last name. What is the name of the film star who played Rhett Butler in Gone with the Wind? Look at that, that look. I know. We started this movie. Um, I think we we did not make it to the end because I think like I shaved before we started the movie and like halfway through I had to go shave again because my beard was grown out because this movie's 90 days long, I'm pretty sure. It's like three hours and 40 minutes, yeah. which I'm here for. It was great. I know it was a monument. I've seen it so many times. I know, but, but it's, it's like, so long. I don't know, I long yeah. It was the same year as Wizard of, the Oz, Wizard of Oz, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, a monumental jump forward in matter. movie production, yeah. All right, everybody's in. Uh, not Jackie Gleason, not Chris Farley, uh, Rock Hudson. It's a Canadian actor, right? Uh, Fred Astaire is a good guess. I'll give it to this person. Not Gary Cooper. Um, that's a, a taco putting on the Ritz. Correct answer is Clark Gable. Clark Gable, Rep Butler. Number 27, born in 1962. Hip hop artist Stanley Kirk Burrell was famously known by what stage name? Born in 1962, hip hop artist Stanley Kirk Burrell was famously known by what stage name? Wait, what happened? How are we talking about Tiger King? You said you had to shave for some of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I miss Tiger King. Do you know? Not really. I just... I'm not trying to bring the stream down. But when Tiger King came out, it felt like, all right, we're locked down for two weeks, and Tiger King's going to get us through it. Like, we're going to talk and laugh time. about Tiger, Tiger King. King. Yeah, we're going to laugh about Tiger King for two weeks. Yeah, Stephanie Curtis just said the innocent days of Tiger King. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now Tiger King feels like a lifetime ago. Um, yeah, we all agree. Yeah. We totally, yeah. yeah. That's how I feel about yeah, Tiger King. I remember, I remember watching it when I was just like doing a bunch of loads of laundry because I was home. And all yeah, let's time. clean. Let's do tons of projects. Let's that do it. That makes me almost weak. I know. Uh, lots of good guesses here. It's not Tupac. It's not Ice T. It's not Grandmaster Flash, Biggie Smalls, Lil Taco. That's my rapper name. 
Um, Ice Cube, Jazzy Jeff, Flavor Flav. It was MC Hammer. MC Hammer, Stanley Kirk Burrell. All right. Uh, just a couple questions left, and it was a close game last time I looked, so keep it up. Here we go. Number 28. Ready Player One is a 2001 science fiction novel and the debut novel of what American author? Who wrote Ready Player One? Oh, Jen Sterna, don't forget the whipped coffees. Remember that? That was a huge thing. We never made it. Um, I, yeah, I don't know why, I mean. But yeah, we, I, I, good call, Jen. It just sounded so gross. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, everybody's in. Everybody's in. Let's see what we said. This answer is not on my shower curtain. Not Dan Brown. I hate myself for not knowing this. Yeah, I'm sure many of you have read this. It's a great book. It's a great audio book. Um, it's read by Will Wheaton. Uh, who's referenced in the book, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, and he does a great job. The correct answer is Ernest Klein. Ernest Klein, debut book. He wrote Armada a couple years later that I started, didn't finish. I heard it was eh. Uh, but I did hear that he's coming up with a sequel now to Ready Player One. How do you uh, feel about that? If it's not called Ready Player Two, I won't feel great. Yeah, and if they make a movie about it? Oh, yeah. Uh, Listen, if you just watch the movie... <laughs> if you watch the movie without reading the book, it's okay. If you read the book and then watch the movie, you hate it. Yeah. But you love this book. I love this book. It's like one of my favorite books. Yeah. How many times have you read it? Well, I read it, I read it twice and I've listened to the audiobook three times. That counts as reading. Yeah, so five times. All right, question 29. Uh, another Beatles question. Surprise, surprise. Looking for the name of a song. Be careful, because we've asked a similar question oh. before. But listen, what was the Beatles' first top 10 single in the UK what was the first top 10 single from the Beatles in the UK it, currently John says it is called Ready Player 2 and then Stephanie said Ready Player 2 the, the new batch, the new batch. <laughs> and then Lindsay Ready Player 2 the new batch get out the butter this is incredible you guys are the best um, Marco says Armada is like Ready Player 1 lights okay I hated that movie so oh yeah, much, Gina you know. hated that movie. I have, an, of course, have an issue with books with filled adaptations. Anyway, yeah. that was the worst one I've ever seen. Yeah, I almost lost it. Out of I think I've I've just been like desensitized yeah. because two of my favorite authors are Stephen King and Michael Crichton, and both of them are notorious for having horrible film adaptations. I, you know, they've had uh, more bad film adaptations then good and they've had a lot of books adapted so i just kind of assume that it's going to be bad when i see an adaptation uh one person got this right um maybe two let's see yeah so far right now one person uh let's see uh, what was the beatles first top 10 uk single a lot of you said i want to hold your hand um, so the reason I qualified this, that was the first uh, top 10, and I believe the first number one single in the United States for the Beatles. Um, but the correct answer in the UK was, please, please me. Please, please me. Uh, much uh, earlier, a little bit earlier. Um, they were a huge hit in the UK before they popped over across the Atlantic. Um, so the correct answer, please, please me. Number 30, final two questions, pretty tough. Uh, what cult classic 1984 films uh don't let this gif um lead you astray uh, it may or may not have to do with it what cult classic 1984 film features characters named ozone special k turbo and hot tot if we don't watch blood sport after this trivia we're watching the sequel to this movie We are black coffee drinkers, but that's 
because I roast the coffee. I think, you know, when we order special stuff, like from somewhere else, sometimes we'll dress it up. Sometimes. But here, since I roast it, I feel bad putting well, like stuff even in. like coming here and Starbucks iced coffee. Yeah, black. But I will get down on some pumpkin spice every once in a while. Hell yeah. Or peppermint mocha. I like the post going around like, We've had enough bad shit in 2020. Can we just leave pumpkin spice the fuck alone? Like, if people want to enjoy it, I don't care how early it's coming out, guys. Just shut the fuck up about it. Like, let people enjoy it. It could have come out in June. And I just yeah, I don't care. We need something. Let the people... Some, for some people, pumpkin spice is going to put them on an upswing. And I'm here for it. Um, it's pumpkin spice. And Michael's has Halloween decorations. But in the next aisle over, I think they already have some Christmas decorations. Fine with me. Let it happen, my friends. Both we have enough negativity free. this year. We don't need extra negativity. If it's not hurting you, let it happen. When it comes to Halloween or Christmas decorations or pumpkin spice, th there are much worse things in this it world to be happy. mad about. Uh, and one thing to not be mad about is a lot of you got this right. I'm very happy about it. Um, it's not What the Hell. It's not Mario Brothers, not Tron, not Top Gun, not Gremlins, Ghostbusters, Garbage Pail Kids, Running Man, Power Rangers, Police Academy. It is... Breaking! Seven of you got it right. This is, uh, I think, one of the original, like, so bad it's good movies. Um, just hilariously bad, but you can't stop watching once it starts. Um, and, and this is where, if you're, you know, on the internet often, um, whenever somebody makes a joke, like if I had said they better call it Ready Player One, Two, Electric Boogaloo, this is the film that started that meme because the sequel to this film is actually called Break Into Electric Boogaloo. That's the actual name of the film. That's where the meme came from. And that's what we may be watching as soon as trivia is over. It's between Bloodsport and Break Into Electric Boogaloo, if which you, I own on Blu-ray. If you want my opinion, <laughs> first of all, Sarah is talking about um, um, Morgan Makes Coffee. Okay. That's, that's the yeah. barista we just started watching. Yeah, we like her. We like her. But I just said how funny we just started watching her. Yes, Allison. Celebrate Halloween whenever you want. <laughs> Jess, what if what if dunking on PSL is our favorite part of fall? Okay, uh, you're trying to go for a run around here, and I'm here for it. But I also saw that you said you're just kidding. Okay, question thirty one. This is the final question, my friends. Uh, geography, Lindsay. Don't think I forgot about your shower curtain, but you need a little outside information to answer this. As of this year, the top. Four countries in the world by population are, in order, China, India, the United States, and Indonesia. What country clocks in at number five, the fifth most populated country in the world? What is the answer? Oh, Brewpoint is incredible, Becky. I haven't been to Pilot Beats, but Brewpoint is fantastic. That awesome couple that owns it, I told you this. Yeah. They were looking on Craigslist for an uh, espresso machine yeah. and found a coffee shop for sale. So they and just they bought make, it. They wrote incredible. amazing coffee. Yeah, they put out a book about it. Kelsey, thank you so much for the donation and happy birthday. Thank you so much, Kelsey. All right. Uh, so there's a meta, uh, meta hint to this one. If you know me, as in Ali, the host right now. Uh, there's a reason that this is the final question of the evening. So as of this year, the fifth most populated country in the world is the country that my dad emigrated from and came to the United States in the early 80s. So quite a few of you may have just guessed that, um, but I am half Pakistani, which is the correct answer here. Pakistan, that's where the name comes from, Ali Beg. So thank you for being here. Thank you for answering that correctly if you did. Thank you for your good guesses, even if you weren't correct. That's okay. Uh, shout out to everybody who got it right. But that is the final question. So we are going to look at the final standings, which means we're going to give out some taco bucks here in just one second. Uh, if you're in first place, you win 200 taco bucks. If you're in second place, you win 100 Taco Bucks. If you're in third place, you win 50 Taco Bucks. Lindsay is getting 25 Taco Bucks, uh, courtesy of Kelsey, because she's, you know, Lindsay's the older sister, so she just took it, like she said. 
Um, and just a reminder, we have a bunch of online prizes that you'll be able to redeem. Uh, you can win these pretty quickly. Yeah, if, you, if you play trivia regularly um, and, and you do well, it, it won't take long to rack up some points here. Lagunitas koozies are only 300 taco bucks. You can get that Oberon bottle cap mini cornhole board. I'll say we only have one of those. We have one. Most of these prizes, once they're gone, they're gone. Um, the the Begatrix merch, you know, obviously we have more. Uh, Begatrix t-shirts, the Begatrix pint glass, the Begatrix ornament. I heard a lot of you that you, even if you can't win one, you'd like to buy one um, in you know place of your traveling ornament for this year. And I love that idea. Um, so I'll certainly order some more of those so we can get those for you. Um, and then there's some stuff that I just see at the store. Um, well, I saw at the store months ago when I was out shopping um, and I purchased to give away like the pizza sleeping mask, the 90 socks, the friends stationery set, um, there is more pop culture merchandise that I haven't had listed here um, that you can win by redeeming your Taco Bucks online. So thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you for playing trivia regularly. Have you had, ever had biryani? I have had biryani, yeah. I was asking if she had it tonight. Yeah, yeah. Did, you, did you like it? Chris said that on the Wikipedia page for Bay, it means chief or commander. Like chief or commander. And Ali means something... I'm not joking with Aladdin here, but it's something like Prince or Holy. Um, so there's a whole thing with my name. But I always joke, I think Christiane brought this up. She's not here tonight. Um, but Ali Beg in the Middle East is like John Smith. Because uh, Beg is one of the most popular yeah. names, and Ali is a very, very popular Middle Eastern name. Um, so here in the United States, you don't get a bunch of them, but over there, it's like John Smith. It's hilarious. Um, but thank you all for being here. Thank you guys so much for the love. Thank you for the donations. Um, we really appreciate it. I appreciate it tonight. Thanks for the birthday shout outs. Um, that's it for trivia. So we're going to do the final standings. If you're in first, second, or third, here's how we're going to do this. If you're in first, second, or third, don't leave yet. Just shoot me a message in the live chat so we can keep this simple. There's no private information going out like email addresses. All I need you to do is if you're in first, second, or third, just send your loyalty number in the chat and then I'm going to write that down and I'll apply your points to your account. Um, and then uh, I'm working on the website page so that you can see how many you have, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but here we go. Final standings, first, second, and third. Don't forget, tomorrow night we have a fundraiser for My Joyful Heart. On Friday, we have Star Wars trivia. Um, that's free to play at 9 o'clock with Phoebe. If you are a Star Wars fan at all, don't miss it. Um, that's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Sponsored by the Chicago Force. I want to give one more big shout out. I don't know if Kevin's still here, but Dan's Pizza, thank you so much for the pizza today and for the gift cards that we will be giving out over the next few weeks, my friends. So if you're here watching tonight, keep an eye out. We're going to have Dan's Pizza sponsoring quite a few trivia nights coming up. Uh, and thank you to, again to everybody out there just for being here. Thanks for being a big part of the, uh, the Bag of Tricks online community. Um, I'll be in there as soon as we finish trivia. I got some fun stuff to post. Here we go. Final standings in first place. Team Tacos got nothing on Ali's birthday. Good job. First place. Tacos got nothing on Ali's birthday. In second place, Memphis Reigns. In third place, we have Chief or Commander. Um, so do me a favor. Before you leave, if you can, just shoot your loyalty number in the chat. If you don't do that, I can find it. It just takes me a few minutes, so help me out. Shoot it in the chat. And uh, other than that, my friend, Sorella Sand, let me just shout out Sarah. I saw you say earlier you were in like 18th. You didn't think you were going to make it up into fourth or third or second or first, and you did. Um, so honestly, Sarah, I know you just signed up for a loyalty account, and if you're still listening, I'm going to throw 25 points your way um, because that's a huge glow up in terms of standings. Um, you did not think you were going to get up there at all, and you did, up into fourth place. So our East Coast friend, Sarah, thanks for being here. Great job. I'll throw 25 points your way. Uh, we don't typically do that for fourth, but I'm going to do it for you tonight. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, that is all, my friends. That's it. Oh, and Kelsey Davis has a favorite number. All right. Uh, that's it. Thanks for being here tonight. We will see you guys soon tomorrow night. If you can make it, uh, support a great charity. And Friday night for Star Wars Trivia. Otherwise, next week, tons of trivia coming up. Have a good night. Be safe. Take care of each other. Wash your hands. Wear your damn masks. And we will see you soon. Bye-bye.